Today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to calibrate our US 1011N indicator. The N is our NTEP approved model. We also have a 1011 which is a non-NTEP. And the two procedures are different. So to start, first we're going to want to make sure that we have at least 10% in calibration weights in order to calibrate this scale. Our NTEP approved scales are normally calibrated by a scale technician that's state certified and has NIST traceable weights. And that may, basically means that they've been certified by a geology lab. And so that's important to know before you go and do this calibration is you need at least 10% of the max capacity. So this is a 5,000 pound scale, meaning we're gonna need 500 pounds. So to start, first we wanna go ahead and uh, turn this over. And you're gonna see here it says calibration. We're gonna wanna take this screw off in order to get access to our calibration switch. So go ahead and pop the cover off. And here you can see there's a button there that needs to be pressed and held down in order to get into calibration. So to get in the calibration, you're first going to turn the display on. All right, and once the display is on, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hold this down, the button in the back. Right. done correctly you'll say setup now you'll see that there's different keys here you have your left your right up down and your print is your enter button these will be used during the calibration procedure so to start we're going to go ahead and hit the print button to confirm this will take us to f1 and we're going to go ahead and hit print again so f10 we'll go ahead and hit print now, one is going to mean we want to calibrate this calibration procedure in pounds. We can change this by hitting the zero button to change it to kilograms. So for this demo, we're going to do it in pounds. We're going to go ahead and hit the print button to confirm. All right, we'll hit the zero button to go up to F1.1 and hit print to confirm. This is where you're going to be able to set the max capacity of your scale. So in this case, this is a 5,000 pound scale. If you don't know the capacity, there's a couple different ways you can figure it out. There will be maybe a sticker like you'll see there that could tell you the capacity. You can also flip the scale over and you can look at the capacity of the load cells, add them up, and that would also tell you what the max capacity is of all the load cells. Now, normally what you'll see is in this case, we have 2,500 pound load cells and that equals 10,000 pounds, but we set it up to 5,000 to give it 100% overload protection. With that being said, if you want to go ahead and change this, like let's say your scale's 300, we would use the gross button to move over to the right. I would change the value by hitting zero to go down to zero. And then I would use the gross button to move over one more and the zero button to go up to 300. And then I could confirm that by pressing print. But for this demo, we're gonna change it back to 5,000. All right, then we're gonna hit print to confirm. We're gonna hit the zero button to go up to F12, and we're gonna hit print to confirm. All right, this is gonna be where you wanna, how many decimal places you'd like. So zero is gonna be whole digits. This would be if you wanted to have an extra digit after. So for instance, it would be 0 0.1. Then you could have two decimal places, which would be 0 0.01, three decimal places for. So in this case, with this floor skill, I'm gonna leave it at whole numbers. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the print button to confirm. Then I'm going to hit the zero button to go up to F13 and hit the print button to confirm. Now this is going to be the increments the scale counts in. So one pound increments, two pound increments, five, 10, 20, 50. So for a floor scale, we leave it at one pound increments. So that means it counts by one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six, eight, 10, five, 10, 15, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And you get the idea. So we'll, we'll leave it at one. We'll hit print to confirm. Then we're gonna hit the zero button to go up to F14. Now this means this is your zero point calibration. So what's important here is to first, make sure your platform's completely empty. There's nothing on the scale. When it's empty, you're gonna go ahead and hit the print button. It's gonna do a countdown to zero. 
All right, then we're gonna hit the zero button to go up to F1.5 and we're gonna hit print. This is where we're gonna go ahead and start to load our calibration weights on. So we'll hit print and then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna change this to 500 because that's what we're using today for our calibration weight. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and load those weights onto the scale platform. Okay, now that those are on there, we're gonna go ahead and hit print to confirm. Do another countdown. And now we're done. So to go ahead and exit out of the calibration, we're gonna use the count button. We're gonna press it once, twice, and if done correctly, you should see 500 pounds. Now, just to give you a heads up on the last step where you're entering in your known weights and you press print, if it doesn't proceed to the next step and it just makes a beeping sound, that means you're not using enough calibration weight and all you'd wanna do is attain more calibration weights in order to proceed to that next step. If you have any questions going through this, you're welcome to call our office at 800-711-2237 or you can email us sales at usamesurements.com. Thank you for watching.